every year in a frenzy of flapping fins and tails, salmon make a spectacular run. They return from years at sea to spawn and die in the spot where their lives began. For these fish, it's a pond on the University of Washington campus. We have Chinook and Coho salmon. We open the pond the first week of October and usually uh, the, the run is over by the first week of December. The salmon homing pond is next to Portage Bay, down behind the UW Medical Center. It's a popular place in the fall. When we're spawning, we have lots of people just passing by, walking dogs or the children going to and from work. And so lots and lots of questions, really interested people in the public out there wanting to know what we're doing and why. And some of them have been coming down here for years to watch. The UW Salmon Run began in 1949 using a net pen. And in 1961, the pond was built. In the wild, salmon would lay their eggs in the stream bottom and die shortly afterward. Here, the fish are euthanized and the eggs are gathered, fertilized, and then incubated in a hatchery. In the spring, the young fish spend a few weeks imprinting on the pond. Then they're released to continue growing in fresh water before beginning their trek to the sea. And then they migrate out of smolts to sea um, and spend anywhere from you know, a year to four years out at sea before coming back as adults. No one really knows how or why salmon return to their birthplace to spawn. One possibility is that they may be guided by the Earth's magnetic field. Once they get close enough to the natal stream, then they can actually use their olfactory uh, abilities to smell their way home. The run has been manipulated over the years to aid in studying migration as well as factors that affect survival. It's also been an attraction for school children and adults. It's a great kind of interface for people to get up close with salmon and learn a little bit about the life history and what we do with them here at this facility. Soon this will be only a memory. The salmon pond is closing. No more young fish will be released and the research will end. Coho and Chinook will continue to return from the sea for a few more years, so the target date for final closure is 2013. In the meantime, the pond will stay open until the last adults have come home.